Hello everybody, my name is Birdie and we're going to be making a mechanical video series, oh man! So basically we're going to be talking about mechanics and mechanics is what you do with your mouse and keyboard as you do stuff in Starcraft like this, oh man, oh man, this has got mechanic, yeah! So basically the foreigner community sucks at mechanics and um, yeah, so we're going to talk to you about how you can become a Korean professional gamer with having amazing mechanics like me. Oh. Now, just as a bit of a disclaimer, I realize I'm not the highest ranked player, so what my information comes from is not myself primarily, but rather it comes from watching the Korean professional streamers who you all know and love on Sniperlot and also from uh, Day9's mechanical video tutorial which he has made in the past and which is excellent and which you should all go and watch it after this video. So uh, that's where my information generally comes from and hopefully this will help you guys get better mechanics. This video is meant for pretty much everyone but particularly beginners who are new to Brood War and who are not very good at Brood War, so like sort of D and C rank players. But I've seen enough B and A rank players who don't do all of the stuff I'm going to teach you properly, so in that case it does apply to you as well. So um, anyway, it's going to be just short video segments which are going to discuss one mechanical aspect and you're going to learn how you can improve it and what you can, how you can use it in a real game. So. In this first example, we're going to be talking about clicking on things. Click, 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 click. Oh, and this click. See that there? That was a fail. So, as and uh, we'll start with these hydralis here. So, if I want to select all of these hydralis, what is the best way to do that? Now, a lot of you would probably go click, and then you'd hold down shift, and you go click and click, and you got like all of them, or you might be like awesome and grab a massive box there and shift click that or something like that. Now what if we move this dude here, move this dude here, move this dude a bit closer and move this dude here. Now how do we select them? And it just got a whole lot more tricky because we can't select them with all one box because we grab some zerglings if we do that. So basically I'm going to teach you how to click on things. So a lot of people will go like this, they'll be like, okay, well I can't grab all of them with one box and I don't really want to do a big box like that. So the reason the big box like this is bad is because you have to move your mouse up here, which is not where a hydralisk goes, and you have to click and then you have to drag it all the way down here, which is not where a hydralisk is. So you've essentially wasted uh, mouse movements from moving it here to here, which means you're wasting time and efficiency, which means you haven't achieved what you wanted to achieve in the fastest time possible. And then of course you have to select these ones and these ones and these ones. So. A lot of players realize that, so they won't do this big box select. So instead, they'll do little boxes. They'll go box, shift, box, shift, box, shift, box, shift. Oh, I got some zigling. Deselect, box, shift, box, shift. So they got everything, but it wasn't as fast as it could possibly be. So the way they should have done it is click, 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 and they've got all of them like that and they clicked only on the exact thing that they wanted. So they didn't click the circling here because they were clicking directly on the hydralis. So they're not sort of misclicking like this. They got good mouse accuracy. So that's what you guys want to learn how to do is click on things. Click, 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 click. Real simple and yet like so many people that I watch stream, they go like this, they do these box selecting things and they're like, oh, 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 I want the hydralis. Can't get the hydralis. Oh, and they're doing these box selecting. So, now let's just have a little quick discussion about when box selecting is fine. Now what if I want to select these two units? What is the fastest way to do it? It is not click, shift, click. Okay, that is not the fastest way to do it. It should be box select like that. Now, what a uh, problem with box selecting when you do do it in, something, in a situation which is correct, such as grabbing these guys, is people will not do the exact smallest box that you need to select the units. Instead, they'll start up here and they'll go down here which again, that is like twice the size, four times the size of the box you actually need. Which again means your mouse is traveling further, which means you're having to do more work and you are um, doing it slower basically. So, when you are box selecting and you're not clicking on units, which is fine in certain circumstances, do a small box like this, boom. And then shift select, oh see that box is a bit big and it's not a click and why am I doing it? So I don't do that. I box select these, shift, click, 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 and I move my screen down and click that. Boom, got them all. So in this case, let's say these are a bit close, don't really want to do it, so I go box select, sh shift, box select, click, move my screen down, click, like that. That is a better way of clicking on things. So here I have an example of 
a real in-game situation which happens pretty much every ZVT is you have at your rally point you have a whole bunch of zerglings and you have a defiler in the middle so how do we grab them? If we box select them, we've got zerglings, got zerglings so we could box select them and then deselect using the wireframe but again, our mouse is having to move around here, down to here, down to here and click it too slow instead we want to directly click directly on the defiler second thing that we have to do is we click C so we can consume now what? we have to click on the unit so if our mouse accuracy is poor and we have an ultralisk here and I don't have an ultralisk den so I will make an ultralisk den but if our mouse accuracy, well, let's say this here was an ultralisk this hydrosk here, and we've got this hydrosk sitting in here being awesome and we go consume and we click here oh man we thought we were going for the zerling but we just killed a massively expensive unit for a, for like a, 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 a dark swarm what a waste that was if our mouse accuracy had been better we would have clicked exactly on the zerglings like this and we would have been able to go like this and get all of the zerglings without them. oh man I got a defiler oh no and see that would have been bad as well what if I went like that and I selected the defiler and I consumed the defiler which is an extremely expensive unit in terms of the gas cost and yet boom it's gone and suddenly I only have one defiler and the Terran comes and he radiates it and it's dead and I lost the game because of my one single misclick that's why it's extremely important to click exactly on units not sort of this next to units and oh I missed I missed them and I missed them and I missed them and I missed them so let's just have a quick think about how we can click more accurately and here is the best example that I know of is we have these drones here and we send them to mine and we don't worry too much about whether we're clicking them to mine so they're mining here and you're at the start of the game and nothing's happening so you're going like this and you're doing your spamming and most people are doing this and they're going like this Wait, um, uh, boom, boom. okay so most people are going like oh 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 yes box selecting box selecting this is good practice but guess what we don't need much practice doing box selecting now if you are going to practice box selecting that's fine do small boxes select two drones two drones two drones two drones two drones other three drones two drones two drones two drones and you just select like small groups of drones like that that's fine but better way to spend your time is at the start you've only got a few workers let's say you got like say normally we've got like what nine workers so what I suggest you do is at the top where you've got the first worker, you click them and you click on this one and you click on the next one and you click on this one and this one and this one and this one and this one this one and as they're moving to mine you click them and then you're just practicing clicking moving units which is pretty tough and see I couldn't do this, see what I'm doing right now, I'm sitting here clicking units I used to not be able to, see I misclicked there, I clicked a mineral patch didn't want to do that and see I'm having to try and click these moving units which are moving on different paths and I not click the hatchery, I didn't want to do that but that's because my mouse accuracy isn't quite as good as it should be so that's what you guys should do to practice is at the start of the game instead of going oh, oh yes oh yes get my opium up oh yes oh yes this is so much uselessness instead start clicking click 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 and see how fast you can get all those drones and go up and down the drone line or the SUV line or whatever now another thing you can do is you can do these mineral patches here which some of the programmers do and the only thing I have a problem with that is that it's um, not mo it's pretty static like these things are moving they're actually a lot harder to click then you might think trying to click lava is even worse because they actually move randomly but okay so you can if you want just do this kind of thing and that's fine that doesn't really matter too much but as long as you're focusing on see oh misclick as long as you're focusing on getting that exactly on your target that pretty much concludes this first video i hope you guys will subscribe and stay tuned so you can sort of see where my grand scheme of this mechanical series is going on this is just sort of the bare basics that we're going to start with but it's going to get more complex as we go on Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.